we're coming down to the wire we're reaching the end of our problem it's been a long way but we're almost there okay uh, let's say now that our staircase climber can do one step at a time two steps at a time three steps at a time all the way up to p steps at a time so for example if p is two he can do a leap of two steps anywhere or he can do one step he can do that and we saw before that this leads to uh, some kind of uh, recursion equation like this with initial conditions okay as as we saw before and when p is three he can do a step of three jump over three steps he can do two steps he can do one two three steps okay and we saw that this leads to equation like this of this nature plus f n minus two plus f n minus three kind of like that and also with initial conditions now before we begin the final analysis i need you to really understand the following point that if p the number of steps that he's allowed to take in one move if this is bigger than n then this is the same thing as p equals n Okay, let, let's, let's analyze it. We, we analyzed to death the, the case of four steps last video. Let's say P is 1,000 and he can take a leap of 1,000 steps like that. Does it make any difference between this and P is 4? No, because he cannot jump up to 1,000 anyway. He's limited to going up four steps, one, two, three, four, and that's that one 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 that's the best he can do his powers of jumping up to a thousand steps doesn't do him any good if there are only four steps right so if if p is bigger than n then it's the same case as p equals n now we have already studied p equals n p equals n is our case that we did before for example uh, P is 4, N is 4, and we got 8 ways. We added all the different ways of doing it by parts, like 1 part, 2 part, 3 parts. Okay, how many ways to do 1 part? It was N minus 1, 0, because K, K is 1, here K is 1, and K minus 1 is 0. The next one, n minus 1, n is, n is 4, uh, 1 plus n minus 1, 2 plus n minus 1, 3. That gives you a total of 8, okay, with n equals 4. In general, in general, we apply the exact same idea. And if we have n steps and we can take moves uh, anywhere from 1 up to p steps, okay and p equals n well we end up with this n minus 1 0 plus n minus 1 1 binomial coefficient all the way to the last one n minus 1 n minus 1 and what is this this is the the sum of the n minus 1 row of Pascal's triangle and what is that equal to? Well, the sum of the rows of Pascal's triangle are powers of 2, so this is 2 power n minus 1. Amazing. Or if you want, you could say 2 power, 2 power p minus 1. It's the same thing because n and p are equal in this case. Why are we doing this? Because now we have a way of computing all the initial values, the initial conditions. All right? So let's say we want to, uh, we have p uh, equals some number, okay? So our, our man, our staircase climber can do one, two, three, up to p, and we have n steps in the staircase. All right, now we are able to formulate the recursion 
uh, f of n is f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 plus da 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 all the way down to the end f of f of n n minus n okay because he's uh, well actually f of n minus p because he takes p steps so there's n minus p steps left for him to do follow the same principle as we did in the last videos and you get this equation we did it for p is p is 2 and we did it for p is 3 this is in general for p is p it's the same pattern now the question is what are the initial conditions well here here I can rewrite this let's take n is n plus p and I have f of n plus p equals f of n plus p minus 1 all the way down to f of f of n plus p f of n okay and let me rewrite this f of n plus f of n plus 1 plus all the way up to f of n plus p minus 1 and then the next one is this these are our state variables this is our design equation I can call this a b all the way to let's say z okay and in the next iteration I can put this like this and z goes here and what is z z is going to be the sum a plus b plus all the way to z as we did before it's the same pattern but now we have an unlimited number of state variables okay so in our recursion what we have to do is pack all of these variables into some kind of list we chop off the a we end up with b our new a is b and we append this sum to the end and we've got our new iteration now all we need is initial conditions we get this from here all right in the case when n is 1 p is 1 okay it's the if p is a million so what it doesn't matter you cannot take a million steps here p is 1 I end up with one way when n is 2 p is going to be 2 it doesn't matter if p is a million or billion or whatever effectively p is 2 because if p is a billion I still cannot take all those steps I can take maximum one or two steps so p is 2 and I end up with 2 and same here when n is 3 maximum p effective p is 3 so I end up with 4 and so on and so on and so on so when n when I have n steps in my initial conditions uh, it's gonna actually go up to p okay I have one two three up to p because that's how my my um, recursion is gonna go here I have p and the rest is n minus p steps left like we did before remember so what is the initial condition here easy 2p minus 1 we proved it right here that's why we did all of that stuff okay so we have initial conditions doesn't matter how many p it, it doesn't matter what this guy is able to do he can do one step two step three step all the way up to a million steps uh, he can do that in 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 say let's say you know here's the staircase and he can do a million steps in one shot that's fine no problem and then one 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 step and then 500 steps or whatever many steps no problem we can now do it because we have all the initial conditions we need it's all figured out from this idea now there is a much much simpler way there is a much simpler way of computing this number this uh, figure here I'll leave that up to you you should think about it I'll give you a hint the hint is that this is 2 to the power of something so think about think about things like binary strings 1 and 0 1 and 0 1 and 0 there's two possibilities for for each of these boxes now think about this idea and combine it with what we have done and you'll find a, a much uh, easier proof however that proof is not as enlightening as this now 
Next video is the final video. We will do a racket program for solving the staircase problem in complete generality where the climber can take any number of steps as this moves. And you'll see how that works. This is the plan. We planned it out here. And you'll see how that works. Remember, if you like this, subscribe, click like, and wait for more videos.